So I want to do just a little illustration here to, to give us a picture of <clears throat> what the difference is. Because the world, when we use the word surrounded, a lot of times it seems like it's a negative. So those of you who are going to help me, come on up here. <clears throat> and Mr. Colin, would you care to come on up too, brother? <clears throat> yeah, go ahead and give Colin a round of applause because he's the man. <clears throat> okay. I just I like illustrations because it shows shows things. So, Colin, I want you to stand right here in the middle. I think it helps us to illustrate some things. All right, gentlemen, <laughs> uh, I want you to uh, surround him and and just be uh, looking at him. You don't have to point your finger or anything. But <clears throat> now, Colin, do you feel surrounded? Yeah, he does, and. <clears throat> This is the way we most often, this is the way the world would interpret, be, interpret the, the idea, the concept of being surrounded. Because he's expecting condemnation, he's afraid, he's concerned, uh, you know, he, he's, he's trying to figure out what he's done wrong, uh, he knows that it's going to be a negative and not a positive, because always in our mindsets of, of the world, uh, and even as us in humanity, we expect that when we're surrounded, it's a bad thing. But what we read about in Hebrews uh, 12 there, when we're surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, it's not a negative thing. It's a positive thing. So, Colin, uh, these guys are surrounding you. I want all of you to turn around right now. Uh, Colin, you stay right where you're at. And if you would, except for Casey, who's uh, incapacitated right now, would you just link arms if you can? All right. Now, I know you can't see Colin perhaps in there. But get an idea, folks. This is the way, this is what it looks like for us as Christians to be surrounded. Can anybody get to call you right now? Can anybody break through this line? He's surrounded by the people of God and the prayers and the spirit of the, these men, and nothing can get to call in except they go through them. And that's exactly what God has called us to be as a church, to surround those who are in time of need, surround those, as we'll look about at here in a minute, who have had the courage to step onto the racetrack, onto the field of play, and to engage. And because of that, they know they can run with confidence. I mean, Colin's confident right now that he's safe. He's safe because he's surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, this mighty crowd of men, and nothing is going to get to him except it goes through them, and it's not going to be successful if it dares tries. Does that make sense? All right. Go ahead and give them a round of applause. Thank you, guys. That was all I asked. 